With every new release, Blackmagic Design's DaVinci Resolve is tempting editors away from Adobe's Premiere Pro. One big reason is that it's free, and even the $300 Studio version costs less over time than Premiere Pro. More importantly, Resolve can now go toe-to-toe -to -toe with its rival. Premiere Pro CC seems to get more buggy and slower with every release, but Resolve has become cleaner and snappier. It also comes with a deep set of tools for HDR, color, VFX, and audio. If you're already invested in Adobe's ecosystem, you might be reluctant to switch. To that end, I wanted to see if changing to Resolve would be worth the learning curve. I took a long look at things like speed, color correction, audio, and text handling. Here's what I found. To see how they perform on different PCs, I tested both apps on a two-year-old laptop with NVIDIA GTX 1070 Max-Q graphics. I also tried them on a desktop computer with a high-end NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti GPU. Adobe relies largely on the CPU to accelerate Premiere, while Resolve uses the GPU more. As I found, this has a big impact on speed and usability. I usually shoot Engadget videos on a Panasonic GH5S using the 4K 10-bit MP4 format. With Premiere Pro CC, it's impossible to use those files, as editing and even loading bins is much too slow. However, I can edit those GH5S files directly to Resolve on my desktop machine. I recently did a video on webcams and had no performance issues. That saved me the time encoding to Cineform or ProRes formats as I would have done with Premiere. What about exporting clips for YouTube? Resolve used to be much quicker here, but there's good news for Premiere Pro users. The latest version now supports GPU encoding. I tested that, and hardware export speeds are now on par with Resolve. Also, Premiere's software-encoded YouTube files are higher in quality. Overall, Resolve 16 is more responsive than Premiere Pro CC for editing, color, and effects, especially at 4K and up. It's also a lot more stable. If you need to export quickly and quality is less important, Resolve is the best way to go right now. If quality counts more than speed, Premiere Pro delivers better results. When it comes to the user interface and editing, however, Premiere Pro is harder to beat. It has a deep feature set that many editors know and like, along with useful AI tools, decent media management, and more. It's easy to do color correction and audio editing, and full Creative Cloud subscribers have access to advanced tools like After Effects, Audition, and Photoshop. But Resolve is catching up. Editing and media management is easier than ever, and it also comes with powerful tools. Its color, Fusion VFX, and Fairlight audio tools are more advanced than Premiere's native features and are included for free. I like that these apps are bundled into one workspace. It's faster and more convenient to switch tasks than it is to jump to After Effects or Audition using Adobe's Dynamic Link. That's without even talking about the extra cost of those other apps, which I'll get to later. If you're worried about the move from Premiere, Resolve's edit space is similar to editing in Premiere Pro. Things like bins, effects, the timeline, and source and record viewers work in roughly the same way. And basic functions like trimming, cutting, and inserting are very similar. If you want to edit in a simpler way, Resolve 16 introduced the Cut workspace. It's designed to fit better on a laptop screen and make editing faster for YouTubers. In practice, Cut can make editing a bit faster. However, navigation can be impractical on busy timelines because the top timeline doesn't show thumbnails or clip names. As a whole, I'd give Adobe Premiere Pro CC the edge for editing. It simply has better controls, especially for detailed work. For me, Resolve doesn't offer fine enough editing control. That takes us to color correction, which is really a strength in Resolve. For simple color correction, you drop into the color workspace, then you can adjust your shots and see the results immediately on the edit or cut pages. For more advanced work, you can do secondary color correction and create power windows to track and adjust parts of an image. Premiere, on the other hand, uses the Lumetri color module. That's more like a Lightroom color corrector than any dedicated video system. 
It also offers some basic secondary color correction and the ability to mask and track parts of an image. However, one very convenient new feature is Color Match that lets you match all clips to a master shot. The bottom line is that Resolve has more powerful color tools than Premiere, but they're trickier to master. If you put in the time, you'll be able to get more out of Resolve 16. However, if you're a casual user, Premiere Pro is easier to understand and use. When it comes to VFX, there's no doubt that Resolve's Fusion beats Premiere Pro's built-in tools. However, many Premiere users also have access to After Effects, so let's compare that app. Both effects apps have their strength, but I'd give the edge to After Effects. Fusion is better for pure VFX work thanks to the true 3D workspace and advanced keying and other effects. However, After Effects is better for the 2D and motion graphics work done by the majority of editors. Premiere Pro is also better at handling text. Adobe recently added a Photoshop-like tool that lets you type text directly onto video, then manipulate it using effects and filters. Should you need to do more, After Effects is again a possible option. It's far and away the most widely used program for text and motion graphics work with an enormous range of controls, scripts, and third-party apps available. Even with a new Text Plus module, Resolve's text handling is weak in comparison. Many of the controls are limited and lack undo functions, while the preset animations are inflexible. All told, if you do a lot of video text work, stick to Premiere Pro and After Effects. Resolve 16's Fairlight app easily beats the audio functionality built into Premiere. Once again, though, Creative Cloud subscribers will have access to Adobe's Audition, a mature and powerful audio tool. Both apps do a good job for video editors. Audition is a bit more powerful and flexible. However, I'd give the edge here to Resolve 16, as Fairlight is easier to access and included for free. That brings us to a key reason editors might switch to Resolve, the price. Adobe's main product and revenue source is subscriptions. Meanwhile, Blackmagic sells and often gives away Resolve 16 as a complement to its cameras and hardware products. Resolve's pricing model is dead simple. The basic version is free and Studio costs $300 for the life of the product. Premiere costs more no matter how you look at it. Buying Premiere Pro alone costs $21 per month or $240 per year prepaid. If you want the other apps I've mentioned, like Audition and After Effects, you'll spend $53 per month or $600 per year prepaid. That makes Premiere a lot more expensive over time. With a full subscription, however, you do get very useful apps like Photoshop that Blackmagic doesn't offer at all. So should you switch from Premiere Pro to Resolve 16? If you lean heavily on After Effects for motion graphics, Resolve simply can't compete. Video editors who also do photography may also need to stick with Adobe just to have Photoshop and Lightroom. For everyone else though, I think the answer is yes. Feature for feature, Resolve can hold its own against Premiere and is faster and more stable to boot. Most importantly, it's just $300 for the studio version or free if you don't need the fancier features. Just keep in mind the learning curve, particularly when it comes to color correction and effects. If you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe. And for more on video editing, cameras, and other tech content, head to Engadget.com.